We made it to another weekend and one day closer to Dolphins football. The team is looking to get back on the winning track and avenge a season opening loss to division rival New England. Today, on The Blitz, we hear from rookie safety Brandon Jones regarding his growth from that game to now, head coach Brian Flores on the coaching carousel and the last chance to vote for Tua Tungavailoa for Rookie of the Week. The season opener in New England feels like an eternity ago. Dolphins safety Brandon Jones feels the same way. Though he posted a career-high seven solo tackles in the game, Jones feels like he's come a long way since his NFL debut. I watched the week one game, obviously preparing this week, and I feel like I'm a totally different player, just from knowing the next step, what's going to happen and being comfortable at the end of the day, Jones said. You could kind of tell I was pretty antsy and trying to be everywhere all at once, but I kind of just understood and realized my job, what I need to do and how I can help and always kind of being aware of the next step before it happens. I think that's something that has progressively gotten better over the weeks. In a week-to-week -week league Jones loves his evolving role and approaches each game plan with the same eager attitude. I kind of do and play whatever the coaches need me to do, Jones said. I have a lot of experience in college being able to play the box and play high. I don't mind. Like I said, wherever they need me, I'll do what I can do at the end of the day. Around the beat. This time of year is a busy one in the NFL. Some teams are pushing towards the postseason while others are hoping to finish strong and create momentum heading into 2021. Thursday, Brian Flores talked about the game Sunday versus the Patriots, injury updates and his feelings about assistant coaches attempting to following in his footsteps towards the top of the coaching ranks. Adam Beasley of the Miami Herald has more. Flores said Thursday that he wouldn't get in the way of those looking to better themselves. Stat of the day. Quarterback Tua Tungavailoa began his career with 152 passes without an interception, the fifth longest streak in franchise history. Despite throwing his first NFL interception, Tungavailoa threw for a career-high 316 yards in the loss to the Chiefs. For his performance, Tungavailoa is up for the same award he won in Week 13. Voting is still open and you can help him win back-to-back -back Pepsi Zero Sugar Rookie of the Week awards. Know the Patriots. Patriots cornerback J.C. Jackson is second on the NFL interceptions leaderboard behind Xavier Howard. Jackson has seven total picks but the roles are reversed in a similar statistical category. Howard intercepts a pass every 8.40 targets, second in the NFL. With an interception every 8.14 targets, Jackson leads the league. 